Only minor damage. Fair enough. Alright, I really gotta change the order of soldiers here one of these days. Do you on the side? Oh, look, a guy! Uh... Don't burst yet. Do we have a machine gunner anywhere? We do, but there's sort of... Can't hit yet. Oh, sure. Now you do reaction fire. Turn and shoot like a bastard. Go burst fire. Suppressed. Good. Kind of what I was hoping for. Um, sort of risky, that. All right, just move out of the way, James. Take a shot. Uh, burst fire will be fine with you. You can move him back into the ship. Sniper, why not? Just stand and shoot. 41 timing, that's sure. Missed, fine, fair enough. Second machine gunner. First fire, and then back into the ship. For the love of God, one of these bullets should have to hit eventually, you would think. Possibly. Um, just 30 time minutes so you can get back into the ship afterwards. You shot the floor. Good job, sir. And sniper, crouch. 30 time minute shot. Shot the side of the ship. Fantastic work, team. A fine turn. Soldier 5 still has to go, but I think it was just standard rifleman. Kazan is now standing, facing away from everybody. You would think reaction fire is an impossibility. Nope, never mind. He is actually facing us. But I was going to say, but you are wrong anyway, because they will turn and do reaction fire to you. Even if they're not facing you. They, like, hear something that you're coming. Uh, let's go 40 time minutes. Something a little fancier than a normal snapshot. You hit those pilots way over there. Pretty much wasting ammo trying to get this guy, but... I'm trying to sort of prove a point here with this ammo thing, hoping people realize that this is not okay. Err! Trying to point out potential issues with this game, pretending Chris watches these videos, although I'm almost certain he doesn't. I'd like to think he does, though. I think you might be a little boned. It's just, like, when the fact that when you miss, it's like your shot is so wildly off. It's like, the game rolls the dice, and it's like, okay, you miss. So send the bullet toward that instead. Whereas, it should really just roll to see if it, de if it deviates by any certain amount of angle, rather than targeting specific objects of the map. Like, if you're shooting a gun at and you miss, chances are it's going to go just to the left or just to the right of the guy. Not... I'm shooting at that thing. Oh god, I hit my soldier who was standing right here on accident. Uh, it's like, that doesn't happen. If anything, you would make sure not to hit that guy. And you sure shit shouldn't shoot the floor right in front of the alien. That almost never happens in, in real life. Anybody firing a gun. I don't... What are you doing? Don't stand there. There we go. Take a nice... Would that be okay? Leave 8 time minutes. No, that wouldn't be okay. Just do a uh, 30 time minute shot, then 22%. Yeah, way off to the right. Like a real sniper. Uh, Barbara King. He's not behind cover anymore, so it should be fairly decent chance to hit him. Just go 20 so you can get back behind cover. Okay. Other sniper. It's kind of annoying when you have an alien to deal with. Oh, maybe that's why we hit the ship the other time. Maybe I was too far back. 20 10 minute shot. Nope. Okay. Machine gun fire. Hey, there we go. Got him finally. Now we can move out of the ship. All right. Armored dudes first. <sighs> also, ammo's not really a concern in this game nowadays. Is another kind of thing. Because there's infinite amounts of the ammo, you just, oh, I need more ammo, and you just, like, pull it out of your pockets or something. I liked in the original games having to buy ammo. It was just another expense that you had to keep an eye on. But now with it so infinite and the ammo, there's no real gun that shoots through ammo. Medkits gets chewed through really quickly because it's only 50 health to can heal per medkit uh, until you get an improvement. And I think that's researching a live civilian. You get the improved medkit. I think any live civilian. Just 
any of them and you kind of discover how they do the regenerative process and you go aha that's uh unique how this happens we'll make it so our medkits have a similar effect or something like that i forget the lore behind it but i think i think that'll do it and then it's uh I, f I forget how much extra it heals you for, or something like that. Because right now it's... Right now it's 50. Maybe the advanced one's 50 as well? I don't really remember. I don't know. But you'd shoot through that really quickly, but like, I've... I've I spent like three turns just blindly shooting at the alien, and nobody's really low on ammo yet. We still have clips, too, that weigh almost nothing. And cost nothing. Should really send the armored guys in. I'll see if I can get to that little phone box there. Off to the left side once we get in. Yes, cop, go! He's not being shot at, so it should be okay. Although I did have it in Terra from the Deep a couple times, I thought it was kind of funny. Terra missions, and there'd be like... There'd be a civilian just hanging out inside a building, and then I wait in there for a couple turns. Then I turn around, and there's a Deep one cowering in the corner, as if he was drafted and didn't want to be a part of the conflict at all. I always thought that was pretty good. Uh, check the building or not. This is that annoying layout that I hated before. This is the first one that I had with the blue shirt say, uh, Kazans. Seasons. Seasons. Them. Because their ship is way up there and there's a giant open field in front of it, making it pretty tricky to get there. I'm just going to pretend that building's empty. Um, you can make it to this box around the corner. Take a peek. Looks good for now. Can you make it there as well? You can. But is it safe? No. Cops not being shot at, though. Right. Next box. Actually, go there. Well, this cop's actually doing something kind of useful. That's a pain that uh, that's a painful spot to try to explore because there's so many corners. That's before we had one dude hiding like here or something, just making a ruckus over here. He was tough to get to. So my plan is to get through there and break through the wall as I did last time because that seemed to work out pretty well. And the two snipers can just hang tight here. I'm sort of afraid to move them out until we know what we're fighting over here. Uh, yeah. We'll break through this wall and then uh, we'll scout up here and see if the snipers can help out in any way, shape, or form. Afterwards. You go there, you can still shoot. Yeah, that's pretty decent. And then you, you've got those giant wheels to worry about. But you can still shoot at things there okay yeah that'll be fine and a turn just in case we break through the wall and there's something there rather than try to funnel people through the little bottleneck that i've created all of the snipers take a couple shots they're already kneeling in a decent position so they should be able to take a really nice aimed shot and hopefully hit and kill it we'll see though cop is being very useful i'm impressed cop we should recruit him like come aboard sir See if we got an alien on the other side of this container. Stay put for now. Just in case a cop gets annihilated from something. So far, so good. Alright, we'll head on up then. Clear. Head on over. We'll be fine. Snipers, they're fine. Break the wall. All right, we'll get a little closer and try again. Damaged it.
Nope. Nope. There we go. Pretty nice force there, ready to break through the wall. Not bad, not bad. Don't I have C4? I should try C4. We can try C4. See how that does. See how it works. Who has it? Machine gunners? Do you still? I think I took it off, you guys. I don't think I have it anymore, actually. So I think I took it off because it's not very heavy. Yeah, I took it off because it's not very heavy. I'd fire at the machine gunners, but I don't trust they'll hit these. Well, maybe. Those guys are technically behind cover. There we go. Harper King, what do we got? Looks sort of clear thus far. We'll just run out and hide at the top of the map. So then any only that could see us would be on the side of the ship so we don't have to worry about the train yard part of this corner. Uh, ah, over here. Because I'm sure there's aliens over there somewhere. But if I'm way up here, they won't be able to see me. And we'll just be dealing with aliens on this side of the map. Like him. Um, Go for a smoke. Good, maybe. Not sure. Trying to save a life. Well, that turn ended well. Yes, shoot the cover. And then stand. Brilliant idea. Can we get a sniper to take a shot? It's behind so much cover, but... Oh, really? Right, fine. Against my better judgment, we'll have you step out slightly and take a shot. Go for it. Way off. Not even trying. And Lars hit the other sniper. We'll see. Oh. Still hit the cover, though. Fair enough. Uh, since burst fire is so good at suppressing, now let's just take a let's just take a normal shot while somebody else do a burst fire. Up, oh, he's suppressed. All right, moving on. Just suppress him so I can move on to a better position. Uh, James, take a couple standing. Thirty-one time units. So yet to turn up. Then a twenty time unit shot claims one percent. I don't believe it. Ah, and you're still blocking the door. There. No, don't shoot him. God damn it, I didn't even pay attention. Well, that's an unnecessary death. That's my fault for not paying attention, though. <sighs> well, that's another suit of armor, I guess, that we can get back. God damn it. Spot this alien. There he is. Machine gun guy. Fire. Decent ish. Other machine gun guy. Fire. Not sure if one of those hit or not. Both snipers. Fire. Most accurate shot you can. That bullet looked like it hit. Never mind. Suppressed him, though. Most accurate shot you can. Even worse than before. Uh, he's suppressed, so you should be able to do a burst fire and then round the corner. Hit him once, maybe twice. And Henrik, stand on the corpse and take a snapshot. A decent one. What the fuck blew up? Huh. What a horrible accident. I don't even know what that was. Was that something on the ship? 
I think somebody shot something on the ship. They were trying to wall hack. And uh, they blew up like the power source or something. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, he's not behind cover anymore. So, uh, yeah, 50 10 minute shot. That's fine. No, he is behind cover. There's that little itty bitty stopper thing that we're unable to shoot over, I think. I'm kind of curious if because we can't see it, we're always going to hit it no matter what. If that's the case, that is absurdly annoying. You must see cover to shoot over it. That'd be awful. I hope that's not the case. I would like to think after the first couple times of hitting the cover, we would discover it as cover. Oh my god. I used to have much better shots with uh, machine gunners. It would be like 2%, but it would still almost always hit at least once. That's fine. We have millions of ammo. And he's even less in cover now. There he is. Uh, snipers can't shoot him anymore, so... Wait. It's gonna try to say that we can't, even though we see the cover in the way. And those barrels are in the way, too. Of course, our sniper is not smart enough to shoot over that yet. That, that train is still very much in the way. We see it, but at the same time. Um... Yeah, take a snapshot, and then get back behind cover. And suppress him. There's that. That'll allow us to... Sort of move up on him since he's on that side of the train we should be okay to move up like this can't believe i did that to him out, see if I can find him again. There he is, still in the exact same spot, right where I left you. We'll once again take a snapshot, see if we can suppress him and get back behind cover. There we go. Very, very easy to suppress. And sprint up onto the train. I think I might move the snipers as well. Actually, move you there. You don't have nearly as many time units as the other soldiers. You are new. You are a private. Welcome aboard, private. Your first mission and friendly fires happened. That's great initiation. I think you can't see him there. Ugh, the cover's in the way. Um, you can see him though. You just need to move up behind that so you don't shoot it. Fine, we'll see if the alien moves, though. It should detect that there's people nearby. Of course, moves back, trying to distance itself. Trying to stay just outside of our range so it can find cover and then shoot at us, but never opting to shoot at us from back there. Right, he's actually moved... into James Phillips' line of fire. Got him in the shin! Nicely done, fellas. It took a lot of time and a lot of missed shots, but we still have plenty of ammo. I can even reload just like that. Because I brought extra clips. You know what? Everybody reload. Why not? May as well. You can't, but that's fine. Even you. I don't even know if you needed to. Ah! Urgh! I wish I had flashlights on my guns. That'd make night missions a lot easier. That artwork's not canon. Alright. We'll approach the ship. Again, against better judgment. Karsten, sprint over to those boxes. Let's see what we're dealing with over here. There's the smoke from the explosion that happened eons ago. At least it feels like eons. That was a long time ago. Aha, there's one. 
Lars. Run away. James, head down here. Got a bad feeling about Lars. Take some shots. Yeah! Just rain bullets at him. Ugh, wouldn't that be a nice skill shot? There's no way in hell that's working, though. We'll just have you run up toward the red train. Can't quite make it there because you are a private and hit have very little time units. And he runs off anyway. Didn't really need to. Probably could have just shot at my sniper and stayed there, but that's fine. I'm not sure if aliens realize dead soldiers, soldiers cannot shoot. Uh-huh, there you go, you see him again. Stay there. And, just in case aliens run out. Stop defaulting to burst fire. Not risking that, we have a soldier in the way. You can shoot at the door though, if anything pops out, that's two soldiers in position to handle that. Crouch, please. And Lars, there's plenty of cover between you and him, so do get behind this and crouch. Let's get behind that bit and crouch. That'll be fine. Very low chance of that alien actually penetrating through all of the cover and hitting us. And there's no chance of the alien to hit us because it can't see us from there. So we'll end the turn, see if any aliens come out. It's going to shoot at him anyway. Shooting over its cover just fine, but not quite making it to us. And if any aliens come out the door, I'm fully expecting our soldiers to be able to pick them off. We got a pretty nice surround on this guy. Firing from most angles, hit him with one shot and suppressed him. Um, you know what? Go for it. Nice. Shot through all the cover. We'll have you try the same. Not quite as accurate of a shot because you can't pull it off. But 40 time minutes will be just fine. Got him right in the head. James Phillips, damn. And that was the last alien. Their ship was empty. Good deal. Would have been a pretty much perfect mission if I paid a little more attention to that machine gunner's fire and didn't uh, kill my own dude. But, eh, what are you going to do? Iron Man mode. Anything can happen. And when it happens, it happens. A lot of plasma rifles and pistols, though. Tens of money. And James Molesky. Mwah. Rest in peace, sir.